All right, how's it going, my beautiful people? Today, we're gonna go ahead and tune the chassis of the FL5 with Cusco Racing. Let's do this. All right, guys, for today's project, Division Auto Imports ordered all the power braces from Cusco, but the, here's the problem. Only two of them came in. There's supposed to be three, so we're just missing the front one, but I'll explain later once we get to the front. But we're gonna go ahead and start with the back one first. All right guys, since I'm already back here, I decided to, I'm gonna switch out the OEM sway bar here with the uh, Cusco sway bar. This one is a roughly about 38% bigger and it's, it's solid. And uh, of course, it all the supplied hardware that comes with it. All right guys, wish me luck. This is the first time taking this apart. So this is held on by 12 mil. And then the end link is held on by 14 mil. Oh, that's quite a battle, you guys. Woo, that was a lot tighter than I anticipated. Okay, as you can see, it's pretty much the same, but it's about 40%, 38% bigger. A lot heavier, too. Yeah, at least a few pounds heavier. But yeah, that was a struggle. There we go. Woo! It worked. A little bit scuffed here. I should have taped it off, but I think I can clean that off. Woo! Woo! All right, so finally got it all in. It took me a little longer than I anticipated, you guys. But now I'm gonna to torque it all down. So this is 22, uh, 29, and the end link here is uh, 54. All right, so up next, we're gonna go ahead and install the rear power brace here. So I'm just looking at it right now. I think just to get it to fit in without removing a lot of stuff. Of course, we have to remove the 17 mil here because it's gonna anchor onto the 17 mil here. And then think it's inside here where the two supply bolts are gonna go inside here. So to be able to have enough room I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this hanger to see if I can actually snake it through. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and break the first, the first 17 here. There you go, 17. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and bring this bad boy in here. So far, so good. And now the hanger's out of the way. I should be able to sneak it through. There we go, that's one. Come on, baby. Very close, you guys. go there we go there we go okay so instead of removing a whole bunch of stuff I just removed the hanger and uh, now I'm gonna start bolting it up you know what we're gonna have to remove the other 17 because when I pull it out it, it might be the power brace might hit the 17. So yeah, let's take that part first. Yeah, yeah, remove the other 17 because it will be in the way of, well, the brace will be in the way because it's, the bolt is actually quite long. We'll be doing this when we uh, do the ridge collars. We'll be have to uh, take it apart again. 
Okay, we're just gonna leave that loosely. And then we're gonna take the bag of bolts that are supplied. I believe it's a 14. Yeah, 14. So we can have that loosely there. And then we're gonna snake these in here, see if it will work. There you go. Easy peasy. You know the next one? You just put it in the socket like this. And I think I find that the easiest way to get nut and bolt in. Thread it through. There you go. I'll show you guys. So if you go right inside here, right there. And that's where the supplied nuts and bolts goes into. Same ones on this side, right there. And then you got your 14 mil, or yeah, 14 mil over here. And now we're gonna go ahead and tighten it all up. So easiest way, instead of starting taking everything apart the way they, they I guess they instructed, I just took the hanger, loosened it, and I snaked it through here. The torque specs according to Cusco is 47 on the outside. The 17, uh, 14 mils is 47 foot pounds. And then the two, the supply bolt and nut is 42. Okay, now that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, hangers back on. Oh. oh, yeah. There we go. Woo! There you go, baby. Okay, on to the next one. All right, guys, so for the next, the middle power brace, I have to remove the under tray is uh, what the instructions pretty much says. So with this black under tray, I'm gonna see if I can get away with just removing the rear ones and then snaking it through. So we're gonna start removing all the 10 mils here. For these guys. So I decided I'm gonna remove the whole thing, most of it anyway, to see if I can get access to it even better because it's, uh, it's pretty tight in there right now. All right, so that worked. So I just removed the clips on the side and on the back. And I go, of course, I move the front one and now we have access to it now. So we don't have to remove the whole thing. This one, I think, let me see here. It will be going into here. So it will be replacing this piece here. And so we have to take this bolt off and these four. And that should be it. Yeah, that should be it. I think it goes this way with the label facing down. Okay, let's do it. All right, so let's see here. This is 17. So these two are 17. I believe this is a 14. Yeah, 14. So let's uh, let's go ahead and crack this one open first, and then we'll do the 17s after. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get a breaker bar. 17 is a bitch. Hopefully this doesn't give me any headaches. Because sometimes when you remove the, the main bolts, the subframe or the, yeah, the subframe, see, might move. And then sometimes it doesn't line back up and then you're really screwed. Basically make sure you have it on like a level ground when you're working, because it has happened to me before with a friend's BMW who did an M3 and his subframe, it shifted and we couldn't get the bolt back into line up. And it was kind of a pain in the ass. Okay, I think it goes like this. We're facing down and they gave us some spacers here. So they gave us some spacers. So what I'm gonna do making my life a little easier. I'm gonna go ahead and snake these in first. So that way it doesn't move. Just like that, right? And then we're gonna get some, yeah, cause these are not washers. I think these are spacers. We go like that. And then we're gonna go this side. Yeah, these are supplied ones. Yeah, they're definitely not washers. You know what? I'm gonna check the 
instructions. Be right back. All right, guys, so I'm wrong. So according to uh, Google Translate, I translated the instructions. Those are actually uh, washers. So it says put the washer in between the bolt and the brace. So I'm gonna do that right now. Good thing, I, good thing for uh, Google Translate, eh guys? Yeah, so put them in between. Good thing for Google Translate. All right, so everything's all installed now, so we're gonna go ahead and torque them down. So these four bolts are 29 and a half foot pounds, and this big 17 is 68 and a half. Now it's all done, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything else back in reverse order. Man, this car's not very old, look at all this. That's all from driving last year. Live in Alberta, no good. I might as well get rid of all of it while I'm here. All right guys, so everything is all nice and buttoned up now. It's looking fantastic. We are all Gucci now. It looks good. You know, I rate this probably a two out of five. It's not really that hard of an install. Once you figure it out, this is the key component here, just removing those. Uh, the front is all done. Everything's all buttoned up, nice and Nice and uh, nice and clean. So if you guys are wondering if the under tray hits the uh, power brace, it doesn't. It's nice and just all snug under there. Uh, Chasing Jay's looking beautiful. No more janky Phillips screws. No more stripping those screws ever again. Yeah, this is it's. I struggled a little bit just because I was trying to figure my way around, trying to make sure everything fits. And the main thing is I didn't want to scratch the sway bar or any of the new uh, parts. That was the main thing is just because I do like a lot of my stuff. Not all mangled and stuff like that yeah we figured it out pretty easy all right guys hope you guys enjoyed the vlog don't forget to smash the subscribe button don't just smash that subscribe button you guys hit the thumbs up if you guys like it and leave a comment um i think up next we're going to be doing the ridgy collars uh, since we're already underneath here uh, i do have those parts on hand they're already here at the shop um it just i just gotta find time yeah that's it see you guys in next week's vlog See ya.